Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement the techniques from Dr. Marzano's book, The New Art and Science of Teaching. Specifically, we'll dive into Chapter 8 on implementing rules and procedures in the classroom. So grab your coffee, sit back, and let's explore this exciting chapter together. In Chapter 8 of The New Art and Science of Teaching, Dr. Robert Marzano provides us with a comprehensive guide on how to create a positive and well-organized classroom environment through effective rules and procedures. By implementing the strategies outlined in this chapter, teachers can establish a conducive atmosphere for effective learning. Let's break it down into five key elements. The first element is establishing rules and procedures. Dr. Marzano highlights the importance of involving students in the process. By inviting their input, you empower them to take ownership of the classroom environment. Keep the rules and procedures simple and clear, aligning them with school policies. Remember, flexibility is key. Adapt the rules and procedures as needed throughout the year to meet the evolving needs of your students. The second element is teaching rules and procedures. Explicitly teach your students the rules and procedures of the classroom. Dr. Marzano suggests using modeling, practicing, and providing feedback to ensure their understanding. Integrate the teaching of rules and procedures into specific activities and routines, contextualizing their importance. This way, students grasp the relevance and can apply them effectively. Now let's move on to the third element, monitoring student behavior. As a teacher, it's crucial to observe and respond to student behavior in the classroom. Dr. Marzano advises using nonverbal cues and providing corrective feedback to guide students toward a positive behavior. If necessary, escalate the obtrusiveness of corrective actions. Reinforce positive behavior and extinguish potentially disruptive behavior promptly and efficiently. Creating a safe and supportive environment is essential for student success. The fourth element is acknowledging adherence to rules and procedures. Positive reinforcement plays a vital role here. Celebrate and recognize students who consistently follow the rules and procedures. Dr. Marzano suggests using verbal and nonverbal affirmations, tangible recognition, and even token economies. Consider implementing daily recognition forms, allowing you to award points or scores to students for meeting expectations. This fosters a culture of appreciation and motivates students to continue their positive behavior. Finally, the fifth and last element is involving students in the design process. By giving students a voice in establishing the rules and procedures, you empower them to take responsibility for their learning environment. Dr. Marzano provides strategies such as informal polling and formal surveys to gather student input. Remember, when students have a sense of ownership, they are more likely to adhere to the established rules and procedures. Implementing rules and procedures in the classroom is a dynamic process. Dr. Marzano emphasizes the importance of creating a positive classroom environment where students feel safe, supported, and aware of expectations. When effectively implemented, you will witness students who appreciate your acknowledgement, understand their good behavior, and regularly adhere to rules and procedures. That wraps up our exploration of Chapter 8 from Dr. Robert Marzano's book, The New Art and Science of Teaching. We hope you found these strategies valuable and inspiring for your own classroom. Remember, Creating a positive learning environment starts with well-implemented rules and procedures. Thank you for joining us on 5-Minute Chapters. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, more educational insights and summaries of important writings, because even teachers need cliff notes sometimes.